mindset, and I think it showed on that night. It definitely showed on that night, man. And I just, you know, like I said, any of these big fight nights come up and you start to, you know, anticipate, it's just so much, man. April's going to come like that. Mm -hmm. 420 is going to come like that. It does all it the time. It comes quick. It ain't going to be long. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, it's, it's like, I think it was Sean Porter said that... that uh, The worst dressed man in sports. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are you gonna say? How could you miss a Sean and I'm sitting over no, here with this suit I think he said something positive. Like he was like, like, uh, like Tank would never fight, you know, uh, Devin. I think that's what I heard him say. No, like, people wait, no, know wait, that. Wait, depending on his, depending on the suit, his Sean might say something different. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because, yeah, when he had on the, the other suit, I heard him say something. But don't worry about it, Sean. You know, I'll be back on your show soon, if you let me. <laughs> oh, God. Man, you know. It's Boss Talk 101, so they got to yeah, get it real. they got to get it real, man. I just, like I said, I know already, man, I'm a big supporter, man. I love the energy, bro. I just love the way that you guys move as father and son, man. And that's crazy because it's, I don't think Ryan Garcia, his father be there, but he's not ringside, is he? He's not a coach or a manager. Henry, come on. Out the shadows, boss. Talk one on one is looking for you. Henry Garcia, I know you. You've been there from the beginning. Where are you at? Come out. Come out the shadows, Henry. What is the? What, I, and you can't give me all the jewels, but what is what is the preparation like? What is Devin like right now? For us going into this stage, where he's at now, going into okay, by I got to be ready by April twentieth. Well, we heard that uh, Muhammad Ali used to wrestle alligators. And he used to do every kind of all kind of non-traditional things. I don't know for Mr. Garcia, since you got that mean left hook, you know, we're gonna bring out some other stops. You know, I'm sure I'm gonna let Devin tell you what we're doing, but yeah, we're getting ready for him. We will be prepared for 20 and it's gonna be fireworks. Wow. Smoking how, hot. How much is it okay, um, for a boxer? Is it true that in order to stay really focused, number one, you can't be partying, you can't be drinking, you can't be doing any of those other things. You just have to stay straight training, eating right, and working out. Is that well, true? Well, that's something different that the coach has to do. I don't, I might can do a little bit of those things, <laughs> right? No, I'm just kidding. But um, the, um, the fighter, you, he'll, you, right. he'll have to speak for himself. I, I obviously, with the, with the task, um, you know, so serious um, that I would like for the fighter to be focused. Right. I'm focused. I'm not doing any party. I'm eating, partying. I'm eating right. I'm, I'm working out. I'm doing all the things so I can be quick with my thinking. Mm -hmm. So I would expect for the fighter to be doing, to do this, the, do, doing the same thing. And, and Devin, um, he's a constant professional. Uh, we've always seen with him now, he's getting better and better and better under the lights. So uh, I expect the same thing. I him. just, I, re I, I seen also, it went viral. Devin and Terrence Crawford wrestling, just you know, messing around. Um, no, Terrence was wrestling with my with the security. Uh, and and listen, a, he don't want to hear that. He wants everybody to forget about really my, my friend and my buddy Terrence picking up my uh, our security guard. Well, that's what it was because yeah, yeah. it, it's, it's well, spinning backwards when listen, it comes to the media. And I, and I told Terrence Carl, I said, Terrence, you leave the security alone. <laughs> that's what you leave the security alone. I thought that was got, listen, him. Yeah, because Terrence got too much money, but he could be a security guard in another lifetime if he wanted to. <laughs> he's you know, he about security. like this. He about like he's this, sure. but he, yeah, oh, but he moves mountains though. <laughs> Ooh, I think he, he wrestled before. Listen, yeah, listen, he will give the whole security team in front of the door or on the outside trying to come in hell. He loves it. Yeah, he loves it. He loves it. So I had to, I had to tell <laughs> I him. I thought it was Devin, but it was security. Yeah, yeah. No, that's that's my that's my brother. I got a lot of respect for him. No, for, I know. Bud. And um, yeah, Bud, if you hear, leave the security alone. <laughs> wow. See, I was going to ask about that because oh, yeah, the you last time. Too? No, I was going to ask about this because the last time, um, since the last time we spoke to you, you had a Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence fight. Ooh. And that yeah. was something that all Dallas was talking about, right? Ooh, man. And you being a professional like how you are, what did you think happened to Earl Spence that day? Um, just a lot of things caught up with him. You know what I mean? According to him and according to his team, just that whole thing that he's now have he now has admitted to, while mm -hmm. Terrence wow. has lived a life of hunger and and getting to this point. I think Earl was already at, at that, that point, even in his mind. He was had already been there even with the teams and all that. Yeah. But Terrence wasn't. 
the team wasn't, they were hungry and they went into it of a different mindset. And I think it showed on that night. It definitely showed on that night, man. And I just, you know, like I said, any of these big fight nights come up and you start to, you know, anticipate, it's just so much, man. April's going to come like that. Mm -hmm. 420 is going to come like that. It does all it the time. It comes quick. It ain't going to be long. I'm pulling back up, too. I'm gonna be. That's going to be my first fight, too. I'm going to kick it. I'm yes. coming through, me and the queen. Absolutely. I'm, I'm hanging out. With, I'm, I got to get some pictures with Dale before the fight. And after the fight, the win, we're going to have a great time. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? King, absolutely. This will be the one to come to, for sure. It's, it's, it's all smoke. I see, like, he's a big, Ryan Garcia is a big internet type. You know, people on the internet, they yeah. They Absolutely. really, really thrive and watch him a lot. Like, mm. that's going to bring a lot of different eyes to what Devin has already accomplished. Being that Devin's the champ, man, I just, like I said, I don't know. How, how far would this fight go? Will he go Brian, all the way? Brian is extremely big personality, both inside and outside the ring. I mean, to take on challenges like Javante Tank Davis and Devin Haney speaks volumes about speaks the kid. Volumes. You know what I mean? I don't think anyone else can say that that they've done that, that yeah. they've raised their hand to both mm -hmm. of those guys. So, um, you know, I give him a whole lot of credit. I give uh, Derek James yeah. uh, down there in yeah. down there Yeah, in that's Texas, right, that's lot, right. A whole lot of credit, you know, as well for accepting this fight. Um, and, and I know that they're going to be prepared. And I know they're hungry as hell. You know what I'm for saying? Sure. So, um, we're going to be ready for them. Yeah. For Do you sure, think there'll sure. be a knockout? That's what I'm asking. What's going to be? Gonna be, vicious gonna beat, be? Queen. It's going to be a vicious, a vicious beating. beating. A vicious beating. And and if Ryan wants to fall down and just start and lay there, <laughs> or does he want to just not come out again, or do they want to throw in the towel? But it will be a vicious beating for sure. Wow. Just tell me how <clears throat> how did you prepare when you when you guys uh, moved up in weight class for that Regis fight? How did you prepare, being that he was moving up? You know, um, I think it was no 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 real. Any more pre preparation uh, than normal? That, than normal, I knew that we had we had five more pounds that we could land. Yeah, you know, sooner we can land the plane. What we call the land the plane sooner. You know what I mean? We could see the runway um, sooner than you know before at thirty five. So uh, no other real preparation. Yeah, um, going into it, I knew um, the Devin is the best fighter in the world. You always say skill, that the best skill set. Um, when you talk about the best jab, you talk about the best feet. You got a right hand that sent Antonio Moran into um, yesteryear Ooh. and, uh, you know, was the knockout of the year. So um, you're getting a chance to see all, all, uh, a fighter that's uh, equipped with everything, yeah. an array of uh, uh, talent and, you know what I mean, an arsenal of weapons. So, I'm, you know, I'm just ready for this this fight, 420. It can't come 420, quick 420, man. It's crazy. It's smoked out, loked out time. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Smoked out, loked out. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.